It's profile time, ladies and gentlemen. Who have we got? It's Michael Owen. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they'd be like that's if you were doing it. That's a dig at you. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go sit through that shit again. Oh, oh. oh naughty. Naughty. Um, we've got a chap called Dayan Petkovic. Silence falls. No, I know who he is. Well, we all know who he is. Give us a cheer or something. Hey! Pet! Yes! Yeah. Now you're talking. A reef pet. <laughs> um, uh, he was born on the 10th of September 1972. Just uh, five years after the summer of love. Now, you, you might be wondering who the hell is this chap? Mm. Uh, he's probably. Well, I say probably. He's, damn it all, the most popular European player to ever have played in Brazil. That's some going. Until it? Sadov takes his mantle. No, he won't do. But yeah, Sadov has got do. some way to go to top this guy. Sadov yeah. got. Didn't he get sent off for um, going off the wrong side of the pitch? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> he did. Um, Petkovic yeah. never did that. No. Um, <laughs> we've received a number of emails about this man actually, um, and he he's he's a classic number ten, I think. Um, uh, and uh, uh, born in Serbia or former Yugoslavia, he's, he's brought up in the, uh, a remote town situated in the Serbian hills. Uh, started his football career at a very young age, and could never have imagined where his talented feet would take him, Jim. A lot of them mm. do, but you don't. We rarely get a Dean Windows Hall of Fame entrant who started his football career at like thirty. <laughs> yeah. They all start at a young age. Do you yeah. think that's one of the keys to being? Well, a you say that, but uh, at the age of sixteen, he uh, became uh, the youngest player ever to play in the top flight in the old Yugoslav league. Sixteen that's years and fifteen days old. Sorry, how does that contradict what Luke just <laughs> yeah. said in any way? That endorses my point. <laughs> it endorses it, Jim. Oh, sorry, that who's that shouting from within the Dean Winners Hall of Fame? Is that Carnu? Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Less fair now. Carly didn't start at a young age because football hadn't been invented. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he was a forward thinking creative midfield player, as, as we said. Uh, the former Yugoslav produced a number of these types of players, it's safe to say, and, and, uh, and Petkovic was definitely one of them. Um, uh, playing for his uh, first club, Radonici, um he scored 34 league goals in 53 games over, over four years there. So it wasn't too shabby at all. Good start. Mm. Um, and it's got him a move to the mighty Red Star Belgrade. Who were huge, especially in the early nineties. They've won the European Cup, um, but uh, I mean that is massive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it really, really is. Yeah, but um, that will not happen again. No, absolutely not. That's why he went to um, to Brazil, probably. Well, well fed up, fed up with this. Well, I think. <laughs> well, he wasn't there when he, they won the European Cup, and and just after that um, great side, uh, an exodus that happened to the top players, including um, Savicevic, Panchev, Jugovic, Mihailovic, name a few. Prozanecki, Prozanec, mate. Um, and obviously the civil war that had kicked off a lot of the big names left the country understandably mm. but this meant the 19 um, year old Petkovic went straight into the first team now a great dribble of the ball loved an assist and was a free kick specialist one of, the, one of his coaches described his dribbling technique by saying when dribbling he chose the precise moment when to change the direction and the tempo it was an impulsive movement that changed from a sleepy quiet stance into an explosive cat like series of moves which made him uncatchable he was extremely fast mm. You can't argue with that. I'll be happy if someone described me like that. <laughs> Never going to happen. He ga I'm not too sure when, he's, when in his career he gained this nickname, but it was due to his physical fitness. Um, uh, he, he got the nickname Rambo, which is <laughs> great, really. Isn't nice. It? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Red Star State. Thought you were going to say he actually shot someone in the face. <laughs> <laughs> he took on. He took he on every village. <laughs> <laughs> Red Star Stadium was nicknamed the American R, which is a little insight into. What future was, what was going to happen that's already the name of another stadium though isn't it exactly yeah. in Brazil yeah. in Brazil uh, he won two Yugoslav leagues and, and cups with Red Star but by you know the mid 90s uh, when he was due to leave the, the country had broken up and was in a terrible way due to the civil war um, and so in 1995 he left to play for Real Madrid um, and it was in 95 he got his, finally got his first call up for Yugoslavia but his, his international career wasn't really what it should have been he only earned seven caps in four years due to fallouts with the coach and, and also when he went to play in South America um, he, he wasn't really considered so he he didn't grace the international arena nearly as much as he, as he deserved to mm. but, uh, but at the age of 23 he went to, to Real Madrid excuse me he had a funny time in Spain he was he kind of soon loaned out to Sevilla yeah, it was strange though. He barely featured for Madrid. That's right. He went straight to Sevilla. Didn't have a great time there. And the following season, he went to Racing Santander. And again, didn't fare too well. And back at Real Madrid, Fabio Capello had taken over and, and told him that he was pretty much surplus to, to requirements. Interestingly enough, though, he played in a friendly tournament before leaving um, Madrid. And the, in, in the friendly tournament, he played against uh, Brazilian side Vitoria. Now, this is where the story really takes a turn because Petkovic. He left Madrid. He was looking for a club. He left Madrid 
um, in, in his twenties to sign for the Brazilian side Vitoria, mm. which is incredibly strange because so many Brazilian players come to Europe, but but a, a real real quality player going mm. to. A, a, not a small club, but not one of the big boys in Brazil, mm, it was remarkable. Yeah. And they absolutely, I mean, instantly the fans of that club loved him for that. The fact yeah. that he'd gone against the grain and, uh, and done that. And Vittoria had just sold the Beto as well, so they're looking for someone to replace him at the club. And they found it in Pekovic. Um, and the little serve made an incredible impact at the club, impressing everybody in Brazil. He, I mean, his, his impact it was huge, like the whole of Brazil, because obviously they were all watching him. Mm. Who's this little guy coming on from from Real Madrid for crying yeah, out yeah, to yeah. play for us? Um, and in two seasons, they won the two state championships, Vitoria. Um, and he was in the northeast of Brazil for two years until the club's financial situation meant that they had to, to sell him. And he went back to, to Europe to play in Venice. But he was only there six months and saw, thought, sod Europe. Brazil's mm. where it's yeah. at. Because wasn't it later on, wasn't it, when the people were looking back at his career, were they not saying that if he had stayed in Venezia, um, even though they weren't anywhere near as good as the teams he was playing for in Brazil, he'd yeah. have had loads more international caps. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But he, so that was almost like a sacrifice he made. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And he never actually played for the Serbian national no. team. No. Which is a bit of a shame. But, uh, but I mean, those two years he played for Vitoria, he, he was voted... Um, by the fans of that club, their player of the 20th century. Which is absolutely extraordinary. Wow. Okay, they, they might not have the, the history of players that Vasco or. or um, Vittoria? Yeah. That'd be Beto. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So, do you know what I mean? So, he didn't do. But Beto wasn't there for too long, but still, it's a remarkable <laughs> achievement for, for, for a player. Um, and then from Venice, he went back to Brazil and. Yeah, but, didn't, but didn't, like, just before you yeah. move on, didn't he play like, he played like 30 league games with them? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> they must have been sub before. Well, you know Get them I mean? on DVD. They might be, they're amazing. Well, this is why. Obviously, he's gone back to Europe to play in in, in Italy, and so, and so the Brazilians must think, okay, well, he's come here, he's had a good time. Off he's he goes, off. Yeah. and that's that's the end of him, kind of thing. But no, that wasn't the case. And Brazil wanted him back, and Flamengo, the big boys, got him back. He was given the number ten shirt there. It's huge, yeah, Zico. Yeah, you know, um, and this is where he played some of his best uh, football. He was he was affectionately called Pet. Um, obviously Petkovic although I think it was because locals had difficulty pronouncing his name <laughs> yeah. um, uh, Mario Zagallo a former Brazil player and coach of course said during his time coaching Petkovic he said that uh, Pet is one thing Flamengo with Pet is quite another without Pet is quite another he influences the whole team motivates them empowers them he provides the balance that the team needs and we all know perfectly well Pet is Pet <laughs> <laughs> really, really can't say it. Yeah, no. absolutely loved him. <laughs> One of his most famous goals in Brazil was in the, the state championship final against rivals Vasco. Now those games are huge in Brazil. Mm. They certainly were in the nineties, and it was in the, it was in the last minute. It's at the Maracanã, so there he is playing again uh, in that stadium. For, go full circle, and uh, last minute curls in a beautiful trademark for in the top corner. The scenes are superb. He absolutely loved the celebration. As well. Oh yeah, he celebrates every goal like he's, <laughs> the fans like he's in Zaghi. The fans of that club they they cite that goal. Was one of the most memorable moments in like the club's history. Kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this guy, it's so funny how we don't really know him. Yeah. He absolutely loved out there. Um, quite oddly, though, um, he was playing for Flamengo. The, 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 the year after, he struggled a bit and he didn't have um, a great year. And he was sold to rivals Vasco. Now, he's already a little bit of a journeyman, but this is when it became ridiculous, you know. Mm. He was sold to Vasco. Um, and he was there for a couple of years, won a state championship, you know, became a favourite with the fans. Then a brief spells playing, uh, a brief spell playing for Shanghai Shenhua in China. Drogba, yeah, paved yeah, the way for Nelka. that. Nelka. Um, he, 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 back at Vasco, he left there at 2004. Had a short spell in Saudi Arabia before returning to Brazil once again to Fluminense. Now the, fl the fans of Flu were concerned that he. Uh, you know, he was 33 over the hill. Previous affiliation with Flamengo it didn't endear him to the supporters, but he won them over with some great performances and turned them into title contenders. Um, although, once again, the Brazilian league title evaded him. Then he left Fluminense and had brief spells at Goai and Santos and Atletico Mineiro in, in 2007 2008. So he's going all <laughs> over the place playing little spells. And by this time, he's well into his 30s. But in 2009, at the age of 36, going on 37, uh, he rejoined Flamengo. This is where I remember him. Because right. he kept popping up because he was decent. Yeah, I mean, 2009, a few years yeah. ago. And, and the fans rolled out a huge Serbian flag in his honour, and the scene was set yeah. for Pet. And uh, there, were, there was a few concerns about his his age, of course, and would he find his form again? Would he tarnish the reputation that he'd previously built up there? Um, and so he started on the bench. He started on the bench, but slowly but surely, as the weeks went by, he got into the team. 
and started to find his form so much so that he was a leader on the pitch and the players like would call him dad sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that is disrespectful <laughs> yeah. um, and, and, and he suddenly just drove that <laughs> call team. him dad great every time brilliant. dad pass it dad 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 <laughs> cheeky yeah. every time cheeky <laughs> Um, and, and, and he pushed them towards the title and it went down to the last day four teams could win the league on the last day Pe- he had won the title at that point hadn't he? never won the no. league title and on the last day he set up the goal that sealed the league for Flamengo oh, yeah. they bloody won their first league <laughs> since 1992 which of course gave him legendary status at the club at the age of 37 that he'd done this he was named an honorary citizen of Rio um, he'd already been inducted into the Rio, uh, Brazilian Hall of Fame at that point becoming only the third European player to receive this honour I remember him scoring a Penenka Peno right. against Rogerio Senni as well okay yeah might, I think that was that season that's great yeah it was a nice one mm. and he retired in 2011 playing for Flamengo and in his last game for the club all the players were, wore Petkovic's name and number on their backs yeah. another stat about him I, I, I think he scored 8 goals from corner kicks in his career which I believe is the most from a single player in the history of the game yeah. it must be gotta be yeah, yeah that's gotta be. insane mm. <laughs> yeah um, so uh, yeah absolutely incredible and there's a documentary on him called O Gringo but they loved him in Brazil to the point of they, they wanted him to like play for the select out you know yeah. to go for the national side <laughs> um, but it, could he, could he, that's an interesting one could he have could done he, that no, he could have done yeah because yeah. Yugoslavia they'd finished ok yeah. right so he could because have done because then that. he would have gone on and played for Serbia Mm. Yeah, that, so would have been, he, that would have been amazing. If he'd have got citizenship, you know. But I, th- <laughs> I think for attacking players, especially in the late but, but, 90s, they're, 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 they're they're crying out for <laughs> the number ten. So he's <laughs> not like England. We'll snap him out straight away. <laughs> yeah, they play him on the now. left wing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got a bit of skill. Get out wide. Um, a, a remarkable story. A big thanks to, to Luke Ginnell for his article on, on, on Petkovic and for in bed with Maradona it provided a lot of that information for me. But um, a, a wonderful player, uh, and, a, a, an, an honorary Brazilian <coughs> legend, and, and deserves his place in the Dean Medal Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Come on in. Yeah. Come on in, Rambo. Well done, Pet. In, in he comes. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Pet, you is... like him because he's called Pet. Yeah. yeah. Stay true to yourself, Pet. <laughs> I just like him because he's called Dad. Oh, yeah. And I often call my teachers that. <laughs> <laughs> Still has teachers. Yeah. Indeed, he does.